Oh, hey, it's me, Kayvon, by far the most famous half-Persian comedian in the entire world. I don't know how that happened. During pandemic, more people found me than ever before. That means most of you have never seen my original comedy clips. Therefore, I thought it would be fun to reintroduce you to some of baby Kayvon's <laughs> earlier work. Please forgive me. The footage isn't going to be the best quality. It's going to be grainy. But if you have a love of comedians and you like to see how they go from a caterpillar into this beautiful butterfly you see today, well, then you're going to love these throwback clips. And I'm going to try to do one a week until we all get up to speed. Does that sound fair? This one is actually based on a true story. As most good comedy is, there was a beautiful girl who wanted to go skydiving and I was like, yeah, I can do that. Full disclosure, never been before. Turns out she was amazing. She'd been a bunch of times. The instructors all knew her by name when she showed up. She high-fived them, probably dated some of them. I was a little out of my league. So this is how comedy starts from truth and gets made into a joke. Enjoy the old clip. Guys do stupid things to impress women. I went on a date and the girl wanted to go skydiving. Anyone ever done this? Well, apparently she'd been five times. So when we got to the place, they're like, all right, well, guess what? You get to go by yourself. Kayvon, you're going to go with Chad. <laughs> I said, what do, you do? what do you mean go with Chad? Oh, well, you've never gone before. So Chad's going to buckle you to his harness and you're going to jump out together. How does that make a man look on a date when your date's going by herself and you're buckled to Chad? <laughs> For the first time, flying through the sky, screaming, his meat's between your buns, like, ah! And he's all calm, just like, I got you, don't worry, it's okay, we're gonna get you there. I didn't want any part of it. I started lying, I go, I've, I've done it five times before as well, I can go by myself. Like, I'm willing to risk death than go with Chad, right? They go, sir, you're not in the system. I, it was in Mexico. They don't take good records out there. I I'm the, the guy goes, well, we have a way of knowing if you've gone before. We're going to put you in the indoor skydiving arena. It's a small glass room. You do a good job in there. You go by yourself. I go, perfect. And I pull up a little YouTube video and try to watch it as quick as I can. As I'm... 20 seconds in, they put me in the room, turn on the fan, and poof, my shoes flew off. Uh-oh, they're gone. <laughs> Then I started realizing I shouldn't have lied because in an indoor skydiving booth, it's a piece of glass all around. Everyone's watching you that's about to go up and really skydive. And the smallest movement of your hand and <laughs> you hit the glass. So <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have lied to Chad. <laughs> but luckily that little YouTube video I watched on my phone, 20 seconds of it, I remember part of it. It said to lean forward, put your hips down, arch your back and relax. Does this look relaxing to anybody at the ice house tonight? Anyone kick it like this on a Sunday afternoon? Like, yeah, that's right. But I'm relaxing, I got my hands in front of me and it's working, I'm not hitting the glass. And the girl I was with is like, you're doing it, you got it. And I started to smile in the wind tunnel. I didn't know when you smile in a wind tunnel, you start to drool in the wind tunnel. That wasn't in the video, okay? Because the wind is making you and the drool's gone and the drool doesn't go down your face in the wind tunnel. That goes up your face in the wind tunnel. And you just gotta take it. Just like, ah! <laughs> See, wasn't that a lot of fun? That comedy club is now owned by the Bus family who owns the LA Lakers. So if they ever reopen and you wanna come see me at a comedy club, the Pasadena Ice House would be a great spot to do it. But since we don't know when that'll be, if you have a private party or event, I do live shows or Zoom shows. You can hire me to come directly to your party. There's also three other ways to support. You can become a Patreon member on Cave On Comedy, make a one-time donation on GoFundMe.com slash TanksGod, or the absolute easiest way, just click subscribe and share on all my videos. Do it now!